Yeah, let's begin. So, meta tags. The meta element represents various kinds of metadata that cannot be expressed using the title, base, link, style, and script elements. Metadata is data about data. We can add metadata to the head of our document, and this tells the web browser what our web page is about. With the meta tags, we place them within the head, not the body. So we can tell the web browser some information about our web page. Meta tags are self-closing. We do not need a closing tag. Meta tags do have a name attribute that we can set to one of many settings. Let's say we would like to add a description to this web page and the web browser is going to read this description. After setting the name equal to description, I can set the content equal to a brief description of my web page. Uh, perhaps free HTML tutorial for beginners. Okay, so that's one example of a meta tag. So let's create another. So meta, again, these are self-closing tags, and I can add some keywords for search engine optimization. So name, keywords, content, and I'll explain my web page in just a few keywords, uh, perhaps HTML, separate each of these with a comma, tutorial, beginners, that'd be good. We can add a author, meta name equals author, content equals, and then type your name. So if somebody is viewing your web page on a mobile device, you can have your web page scale to their mobile device by adding this meta tag, name equals viewport, content equals, and this will set the width of our web page equal to device dash width. Then comma, we can set the initial scale equal to 1.0. So by adding this meta tag, if you were to view this web page on a mobile device, this web page will scale proportionately with that mobile device. Another meta tag is a char set. We can tell a web browser what sort of character encoding that we're using. So authors are encouraged to use UTF-8 for Unicode. So if you want to use basic ASCII encoding, you would write ASCII here, although that's discouraged. Authors are encouraged to use UTF-8 for Unicode. All right, and the last thing I'm going to show you is that we can set our web page to automatically refresh after a given amount of seconds. So meta HTTP dash equiv is the attribute name equals refresh. And the content equals how many seconds you would like to wait to have your browser refresh. Uh, perhaps 30. Okay, so I'm going to open this with live server. So if I set this to 30 seconds, it's not going to be that visible. You're gonna to have to wait until we see this refresh. Let's set this to something more drastic like two seconds. Let's crank this up. Yep, see, it's refreshing every two seconds. Uh, but let's set that back to 30. Two seconds was just an example. So yeah, those are meta tags. They represent metadata. Metadata is data about data. By adding meta tags, we can tell a web browser information about our website, such as a brief description, keywords, author. We can set the viewport for mobile devices. You can set a refresh rate, stuff like that. And then be sure to add meta tags to the head element of your document. So yeah, those are meta tags. If you found this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.